It's the 1st of September 2018 already, and this is Pride Totnes. See the 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 For this year's procession, which will begin from the bottom of the seven stars. If you don't know Totnes, it's literally that way, and it says seven stars on it. <laughs> um, just to be clear, we haven't closed the road that you see down there, so please don't walk into the road. Um, I'm sure you're, you all look gorgeous, so you'll all stop traffic, but if you don't, Really, yeah we, yeah, we don't want that to happen. So if you want to, make your way down uh, the pavement here. Um, and if you've got banners and structures and things, we have closed the road behind the Dartmouth Inn, so you can gather there as well. Um, now, before we go, um, we've got some placards and flags and things we don't want any left behind so if you want to come up to the front take a placard or a flag um, and take it to the procession but please return them because we're not made of money and there's um and there's a dragon that needs two people is it a dragon it's yeah, a dragon. dragon yeah um so two people who would like to be a dragon please come forth one final thing from me and i'll stop yabbering on um we have a and a fabulous after party this evening at the Civic Hall from 7 o'clock. Um, it's going to be a fabulous night, um, as it always is. Um, we have some tickets left because it's a massive venue, because we didn't want to leave anyone behind. Um, if you would like a ticket, then make sure you get one from the Proud to Be stand at the Civic Hall, or get one on the night at the door. Thank you. What's your name again? Jay. Jay have a wonderful Tottenham Pride 2018. Thank you so much for being here.
decriminalisation of homosexuality in 1967. So, you're a professor? Well. Not a professor, I'm a PhD, I'm a doctor. It was very important to
the Mr. Mission will make a point. Because I don't make Sheila point of vision I think Sheila point one is naval police. Response police here. And who has a career. Cafe just to the left. It's on the slope. So that's asexuality awareness. So learn about what it means to be asexual. Um, so that starts at 12.30. Okay. Um, and um, we're also selling after party tickets. So if you want an after party ticket tonight at the Civic Hall, my mum Karen is waving her hands frantically. So please feel free to get an after party ticket from Mummy Carol. We've got Dot's Cafe serving cakes and hot pasties and drinks, soft drinks. So please go, feel free to go down to Dot's Cafe. We've got a chill out area, craft area, and there's a youth space in the Civic Hall. And we also have some lovely stalls and stands on the stage this year. Thank you. which is Inclusive Football and Social Group. We are, we're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, thank you. And I'm Craig. I'm Claire. I'm Sophie. And how long have you been out? After two and a half years. And me two and a half years. What made you decide to come out two and a half years ago? Once I found out who I was, I had to be me. Workshop starting now. Workshop starting now. Thank you, and happy Pride to you. Stonewall because it's something I'm very passionate about because I look up to Marsha a lot. So 
I'm going to do a disclaimer now, just in case people aren't comfortable with it. There probably will be mention of suicide and murder, and there is a lot of violence that will be in it, obviously, because it's so cool. Only mentions, obviously, it won't be imagery, but yeah, just to put it out there. Um, a couple of people that got here earlier had worksheets that I had, and I was just wondering, like, did anyone know the pictures that I give that were on there or anything like the people that were photographed? Does everybody have them? No, or should I pass no. them? No. Yeah, I can share them. Feel free to drop in. Southwest region. So again, Southwest region. Southwest region. Me, I work in the NHS, oh, right. and I'm an LGBT officer in our branch. Nice yeah. You get, you get a lot of negative press, and you shouldn't be getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, still needs a bit more education, you know. And, yeah. yeah. We're getting there. Just yeah, one step back after another dinner last year. That's it, yeah. yeah. Getting more positive results now, so. Yeah. 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 They keep quiet about those. They just. The media just covers the negatives. That's right, they do. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Unless we collect the information as to any incident. What's your name? Hi, my name's Riri Rhythm. And how long have you been? Uh, I've been I've been doing drag for five years, and I've also been volunteering for Proud to be at Tottenham's Pride for five years as well. Yeah. <laughs> so what um, I don't remember if you remember, but I was at Exeter Pride. I did the drag catwalk competition. If you were there. Uh, <laughs> well, I've done. I do drag in Exeter. Um, I did Tifton Pride two weeks ago. Um, I've also. Done drag in. I do drag in Totnes all the time. Um, sorry, I am. I I live just across the road. It is. It's a very nice place. Yes, very open. And although this sort of thing's not fully accepted yet, there's not a lot of like hate crime or or antisocial behaviour that goes on in Totnes. It's actually quite peaceful and quite nice. Um, I do. I only do it in extra at the moment, though, um, and it's every other month. And the next one is in October. I'm not sure of the date yet, but it's sort of beginning of the month. What's your Facebook? Uh, my Facebook is Riri. Uh, my Instagram is at Riri and Rhythm. Uh, Riri underscore Rhythm. Okay, thanks so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hello, sweetie. Hi. How's it going? Hiya. Um, we're at Totnes Pride and we are the TQ Social Group and we, we are uh, 
a support group for gay and bisexual men that meet once a month in the area. So, have you got many members? We have a huge amount of people coming. You usually get about 30 a month to turn up, yeah. though I email probably about uh, 60 or 70 guys who come along at any given time. And what do you do? Discuss some talk about things? It's a free space for people to meet socially, get to know each other, make friends. Um, there's kind of no remit and no agenda, it's just about meeting people and broadening your kind of social circle. And how long has it been formed? Well, the group in some way or other has been going for the last 14 or so years, yeah, in some way or other. Um, it's, it's had several incarnations over that time as people have moved away from the area. So in its current form, it's been going for about five years. And who set it up? No, long before me, but in the current form, Stephen and I kind of carry the baton. Uh, yeah. And uh, what's your Facebook? Are you on Facebook? We're on Facebook, you can find us if you look on the car. Got a video of that, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yeah. anyway. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You See you later. Bye. Hello, how's it going? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Very good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry the way things turned out publicly. Oh, with Plymouth. Yeah, oh, I know. We got a bit wet at Plymouth Pride this year, but it was... <laughs> oh, I know. It was It was such a shame. We've done sort of eight years of Pride now, and we've been so lucky with the weather, but this year was our turn to catch some rain, I think. But it was great how many people still turned out, though, and were part of it and everything. So, so you're uh, Yeah, well, Pride in Plymouth it is. Yeah, yes, that's it. How long have you been in this present? Uh, oh gosh, since 2010, is it now? 2000... 2009, Pride, Pride and Plymouth started. 2009, Pride and Plymouth started. Um, and then it's sort of, yeah, we, we did the archive project in 2011 and then started doing Prides that year as well. So, yeah, so that's when we started bringing Pride back in Plymouth a bit. It's yes, it has. It gets bigger and bit. Like I say, this year was a bit of a blow, but still, still went okay, you know, despite the weather. And, uh, yes, yeah, so we moved and it's lovely to work in with all the other prides and come round and see them and be part of what they're doing. Yeah, we do, we do. Well, mostly, it's, to be honest, it's quite a lot of things we have left over from Plymouth Pride, like badges and pins we're selling. And obviously I'm here talking about the archive quite a lot, um, which is our oral history study where we basically interview people about being LGBT, getting them to tell their stories, and then we put them into an archive and uh, send them off or keep it in the thing and then we do work with younger people in the city sort of handing them on some history that they may not have got otherwise you know we did that's right yes it was in Drake Circus for the day as part of Pride Week so it was great just chance to talk to people sort of tell them how important their stories are LGBT lives they don't really end up in archives very well because people don't write letters and keep diaries and things so you really need to sit and talk to people and really capture their stories so it's a big part of what we do really so yeah so, eh? oh thank you we try we try I, and I'm, I'm on Facebook station net yes yes Twitter Facebook look us up Pride in, Pride in Plymouth and Plymouth LGBT archive it's a big part of what we do so yeah thanks to you to me and everyone in Top Ness you can find them on Facebook music with great thanks by Jasmine from Plymouth this has been a Chris from video 2018. You can contact me at CCSphoto12 at hotmail.com and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can pay by the CCSphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video.